oh, we might be done at 450. Let's see, will the hammer go down? Even the old lady herself will be proud of a return on investment of that figure. Would this be a political pitfall or a profit paradise? Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Auction Watch. I'm your host Michael Cosmos. Today we have a property that's as intriguing as its icon. It's the Margaret Thatcher House. Yes, you had it right. Or oh, arise for the Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, sir. The Margaret Thatcher House in Kidder Minister is up for auction. Would this be a political pitfall or a profit paradise? Only the auction gods know. Let's dive into this deal. Located in Kidder Minister, Worcestershire, this property comes in at a guide price of £432,000. It is a three-story office building that has planning permission to convert into nine residential units and four retail units. This property offers plenty of potential for a developer who's able to convert it and realize its potential. Let's take a walk through the site. As you can see, there are some existing scaffolding which shows you that the owner had intentions on starting some preparatory work for this conversion scheme. As we go into the building, you can notice there are some markings on walls, which is a clear sign that they were identifying the walls which they were going to bring down so that they can open the space for the renovation. I know Margaret Thatcher was called the Iron Lady. There are iron beams to match within this building as it seems that they are inserting iron beams already in a way to stabilize the, the floors as well as the roofing structures for the adjacent uh, floors on top of it. So this is a building site which had been prepared for conversion already. Uh, so it's about just getting in, picking up where they left off and finish this project as you intend to have it done. As we continue to explore the Margaret Thatcher House, remember she won three general elections. We are not into politics, but on this platform, your like is your vote. Hit like and subscribe. But let's continue looking at this property. It is located in the city center. It means that for your retail units, you should have decent food for and attractive clients for your retail units. And then for your residents, residential units, you are looking at tenants or buyers who are looking to stay within the city center. This may well be young professionals or students who want to live within this vicinity. But otherwise, this is a great investment if you are able to cash flow it and make it an investment that is able to be high yielding. This property comes in with the benefit of existing planning permission. Looking at the existing floor plans is a typical office layout, but on the ground floor, the new plan proposed to have four retail units. We also have parking within the grounds of the property proposed. Also on the first floor, that's where we now have four one bedroom units and a one two bedroom unit on this floor. Moving on to the top floor of the property, you only have two bedroom units, making a total of nine residential units and four commercial units. This property offers plenty of opportunities to structure it however you want as an investor. You could build it and keep it as a block and simply cash flow the rent from it, or you could sell individual units to first time buyers or investors who are looking to get a high yielding return. During the Thatcher era, there were some controversial economic policies, but on this deal, our policy is very simple, buy low and rent high. Let's go into the analysis of this deal to see what will be the price we can go to the auction with is our maximum bid price. To determine our maximum bid price at auction for the Margaret Thatcher house, we need to look at the end valuation of the proposed scheme. And for the residential units, you will see on the screen our proposed inputs for valuing each unit. And this gives us 
us a total of 1.2 million valuation for all the residential units within the building. Pricing commercial or retail space is much more complicated because sometimes this is determined by the type of leases you already have. But we will use a guide of existing square footage prices that are available online to determine how much we can value the retail units. Together, the retail units will be valued at 444000 So together, this gives us a total gross development value of one6 nine million so that's where we know that we are going to if we are to develop this unit out so you simply then input all of your cost as you will see on the screen so that that way it then gives us a maximum profit margin of about three hundred thousand so on this one we usually go for twenty percent but in this type of location the values are very compressed that if you get away with seventeen percent profit margin that will be good ahead this deal might suit someone who's looking for a greater rental yield. So with all of these inputs, we are looking at a maximum bid price at auction is £464,000. It is very close to the guide price, so therefore it will be an interesting one how this does at auction, but the margins are really tight and compressed within this deal that if you do really want a high return in terms of capital, you might walk away straight away. But as I will show you shortly, there might be other ways of turning this around and making this deal attractive. The rental yield is a simple matrix we use to gauge if a property is a good investment. In simple terms, it is the profit you make from renting out a property as a percentage of how much it costs you to buy it. So we use this as a way to analyze if a deal is good or bad. So in this case, we are also going to analyze further the rental yield for this building. So to calculate the yield, we simply take 100 divided by 1.3 million times 1 hundred and twenty four thousand which is the income this gives us a rental yield of nine point five percent which is a decent yield so to further asset manage this particular investment and consider other options i will probably look at how we can convert or utilize the residential units as service apartments. You can find a local operator or operate that particular scheme yourself because this unit sits within a city center. By doing that, you simply double most of your residential unit income by at least times two. By doing that, we now have the following numbers. So moving on from a projected income of uh, 96,000 pounds, per year, you will be expecting to get 192000 annually from the residential units if you were to reposition these units to be service apartments. So this now gives us a total of 220000 total income once you add the income from the retail units. But this is where it really gets juicy. I understand this has been a bit long drawn out in terms of the numbers than usual, but I really got to show you this part of the deal. So now we are looking at an income of 220,000 and a yield of 16%, but I'm not done yet. There are more things you can do to this deal to push up that rental yield. We haven't refinanced. If you now take this property at 1.6 million to the bank and refinance it, which means get a new mortgage, you will only have about 424,000 left of your money in the deal. And then you use that figure to calculate the new rental yield based on how much it costs you. Because now the true cost that's left in the deal for you is that 424,000. So now if you calculate that, you move on to a drum roll. And there you have it. 52% yield on Margaret Thatcher. All levels of income are better off than they were. Even the old lady herself will be proud of a return on investment of that figure. But without further ado, let's go into the auction house and see how we fare with our maximum bid price of £464,000 for the Margaret Thatcher house in Kidderminster. Before you go into the auction room, make sure you have your finance sorted. 
At City Estate Partners, we offer specialized auction finance solutions tailored to your needs. With our expertise and experience, you can bid with confidence and seize the opportunities in today's fast-paced property market. Get in touch with us today at www.citystatepartners.com and explore your financial options for successful bidding. Let the bidding wars begin. We are in the room. Lot number 107 is under the hammer. Bidding starting at £420,000. Let's see how it does. Yep, 430. Thank you, 430. Is it 440? Is it 440? 440, thank you, 440. We are at 440, it's a slow moving auction, but remember our maximum bid price is 464,000 pounds. Let's see how we do as this property seems to be soon breaching that particular figure. At 450,000 pounds then, are we all done? Oh, we might be done at 450, let's see. Will the hammer go down? 460, thank you, 460, is it 470 now? I've got 470, thank you. 470 our maximum bid price has been breached i wouldn't go any further above this this is a tight margins deal but there you go Four hundred and seventy thousand pounds then are we all done once at what 470 twice at 470 third and final time at 470 is the 475 anywhere can't quite sell that ladies and gentlemen give us a call if you're interested the ladies not for turning well, seems like no one could turn this Margaret Thatcher house into a profitable paradise after all. But this is the nature of auction. Sometimes these properties will not be sold, but that's actually the perfect opportunity if you are a buyer to go and negotiate the price. I think if we are on for this deal, we'll probably go into negotiations because we are not that far off. The maximum bid that was received was 470. Our maximum was 464. So there could be a room for negotiation. Negotiation, uh, but yet the auctioneer could still put an outside of the auction bid process for those who are still interested. But that's it for today. We'll check out another property on another day. I'm your host, Michael Cosmos. Remember to hit like and subscribe. I'll see you later.